today I have a portable digital microscope. Now I don't know about you, but digital microscopes seem like expensive pieces of kit. And that's probably because I've got no experience with microscopes. I mean, I don't work in any field that requires me to use a microscope. So for me, it just seems like a piece of equipment that you'd find in some high-tech lab and it will cost, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. But I actually discovered that you can pick up microscopes for pretty damn cheap. Now this one is a digital microscope, so it's not just, you know, one you can look into, but it can actually record photos and videos. It even has a screen. So I'm pretty, pretty excited to check this out. Price-wise, you wouldn't believe this, but this thing cost me 33 pounds and that included shipping. 33 pounds, which is about $43 or so. So that's really damn cheap. Now, if it does what I hope it can do and deliver results that I'm kind of hoping for, this will probably be the product of the year or the bargain of the year. So let's crack it open. Now the box itself, pretty plain. There's not much really on the box. It's, it's really basic. There's not even a brand name on the box. So this is completely unbranded, but Let's crack it open. Right, so what do you get in here? You have a USB cable, so I'm assuming that's to, uh, you know, plug into your computer or laptop. <laughs> you actually get a CD-ROM, wow. <laughs> now that's, that's how you know it's old school. <laughs> when they're still dishing out CDs. That doesn't give me uh, give me much hope, but never mind. An instruction manual, pretty pretty standard stuff. What else? All right, so here is the microscope and the screen itself. Now that actually actually doesn't feel too bad. It has some sort of compartment in here. Ah, okay. So it takes standard, you know, batteries as well. Well, not standard, but I know you can pick up these batteries and you can get them charged. I've, I've got quite a few of these laying around. I don't know the general term for them, but they're pretty common. So that's actually quite cool. SD card slot right here. A DC5V. Ah, so that's to charge it. This is not to plug into your PC. This is for charging. So the USB cable is to charge the device. Okay, what else do we get? Some kind of a uh, clamp thing. Check that out. And underneath, a metal pole and this thing where you can, you know, clamp stuff. So pretty, not, not much in the box, all the, all the essentials. Right, okay, ready, figured it out, cool. Really easy, you've got these little screws which you can tighten. So, this is the microscope. Not bad, I'm pretty impressed. Love that. Tiny micro SD card. So, on button. Digital microscope, let's see. Okay, so that is pretty cool, but it's not, it's not a thousand times zoom like they claim. Let's, let's, uh, let's take that picture. Right, so I'm going to put my phone screen in the microscope. Let's see if you can actually see the pixels of your phone. All you do is you turn this knob until it becomes clear. Oh my. That is pretty damn impressive. Ooh, my ring, this is real amber. So let's see how amber looks like under the microscope. That's how amber looks like under a microscope. All right, what about my other ring? So this is a, a citrine stone. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and find some interesting stuff to put on the microscope. I don't know, maybe I could find like a dead fly or something laying around. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. You know, something, something that's a bit more interesting. Ooh, a human hair. All right, let's get one of my eyebrows. I'm doing this for science. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't be plucking my own eyebrows on camera. <laughs> Oh, got one, here we go. Yeah. All right, I think I've got it under the microscope. That's my hair, but that's only, that's not zoomed in fully. So let's, that's insane. You don't realize how smooth your hair is. It, it's, it's, it, it's like a tube almost. It, it's, it's like a wire, it looks, it looks like this under the microscope. It looks like a standard, you know, standard wire. That is, in, that is crazy. Right, well, this video has gone on long enough. What do I think about this microscope? Honestly, five out of five, 10 out of 10, whatever. This microscope for the price for 40 something dollars, $42 delivered, it's completely met my expectations and more. Sure, it would be nicer if the camera was a bit better. Sure, it would be, you know, if it was built just a bit more solid, it would just be that little bit better. But all the important components, you've got a pretty decent microscope that can zoom in, they say a thousand times. I don't, I can't verify that claim. For $42, you cannot find something better. I mean, this is, this is cheap. It's cheap for anything. It's cheap for, if you were to buy, I don't know, what can you buy for $42 these days? Not much. You know, you go out to eat at a restaurant, you'll be spending more than that. And for the same, for less money, you can get something that can genuinely keep you entertained for days, weeks, and months. And there's not many products out there today in this, in this day and age where everyone has mobile phones, you know, phones, tablets, laptops that can do literally anything you want. There's not much that can keep you entertained. This thing can genuinely keep at least me entertained for a long period of time. I, there's so many endless possibilities of random things you can put under this microscope to, to see how they look like when magnified. And that is amazing. And then you can take those images and put it on your, put it on your laptop. I, I give it a huge thumbs up. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description. I think 100% go get it. If you're on the fence, even if you don't care about, you know, if you've never even shown an interest about microscopes or whatever, I think this is just something amazing to have at home. Just sitting on your desk and randomly, oh, I wonder what this looks like under a microscope. Because right now I can't think of what I want to look at under a microscope. I'm, I'm genuinely trying to think of ideas to put under the microscope and nothing really is coming to me but i know tomorrow i'm going to be doing something and see a type of material or see something and be like wow i want to i really want to know how that looks like under the microscope and you know and now i can if you can find one that's a bit better maybe with a better camera um might cost a bit more go ahead shop around but definitely get a digital microscope don't be afraid if it's unbranded like this because this is freaking amazing all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like, please do leave a comment, and please turn on notifications. Uh, just hit that little bell so you will never miss any of my new uploads. So yeah, if you wanna see more stuff like this being shown, tested, do hit that notification button. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. <laughs> All right guys, until next time, come out with a new video very soon. Feed your mind.